I've been here 14 years and I, I've never stopped fixing my place and then every couple of years the river comes and beats you up. But this has been the worst. Your house, you said, is built nine feet off the ground. I'm eight feet off the ground. And tell me what it looks like. I'm good right now, mm -hmm. but I've got five inches left. I'm surrounded by water eight feet deep plus. And the other houses, you said there's 11 houses, nine of which uh, have the people left? Yes, I'm the only one left here. My wife left today because she's afraid of the waves coming in tomorrow and that could literally lift us off. The road is gone and uh, I don't want to be out there without a life jacket. It's that high. The water is that high on the road. A lot of the cottages are built up on knolls, right? So you drive up your laneway to a lot of them. Well, it doesn't look like that anymore. Everybody's just a, an island. Their cottage is just sitting in the river. Everybody else did what they could and then they left because it was just, it was, it overwhelmed them. When did it all start for everybody here? About two weeks ago. And there was sandbagging, the military came in. The military came in, but not the sandbag. They came in to just check on us. They came by every day to check on us, which was great. And the community center was fantastic because if we were too tired to make a meal for ourselves, we just had to go to the Westmeath Community Center and they took care of us, which was fantastic. But it's devastating. I feel sorry for the people that have young children down here because their homes are wrecked. What's it been like compared to 2017 this time around? A lot more water. The depths have been much higher. And when the wind comes up, the water is so deep around your properties, it takes hold of your place. It tears doors off. It tears windows out. The place two doors from me had the front of the cottage torn off. It's just the, the, the two corners are holding it up. It's just like a washing machine in there, just back and forth, back and forth. What's the plan for you then? I'm done. It's just been, it's, it's too hard. I'm 60 years old and I, I can't do it anymore. If I was 30 or 40, but I can't anymore. I'm just, I don't know where I'm going to move, what I'm going to do from here, but I know that I can't do this again every, every other year. Can you sell it now? They're worthless. Who wants it? Who's going to come near the Ottawa River? Like none of us have insurance, right? Because we can't get flood insurance. So I'm, I'm fortunate. I have another place to live if need be. But a lot of these people don't.